good on the... Yeah. Is that on already? Yes, it is. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>
That's really putting me on the spot there. Um, so I, I think with this, a lot of it is down to thinking very hard about how do the different systems that you put in your games, how do they impact the player and what does the player think, feel, want to do, not want to do while they're playing. The biggest thing and the best way to, to do this is to think long and hard about the flow that a game is going to have, where you're going to introduce areas of, um, I guess, for want of a better word, negativity into the game, and then sort of bring people back up with moments of joy, big moments that happen in games, and sort of keep the player on this long journey that allows them to enjoy the experience while also sort of being motivated to interact with things that are beneficial to your, I guess, the, the long-term health of your game's operation. Harry, your <sighs> first question. It's a tough act to follow now, gosh. What do you think the next big marketing trends will be in five to ten years? Yes, me. Well, if I actually had any well, credible no, knowledge that of that, I'd, tough be, one. I'd be buying my super yachts already. Um, I think it's funny, with these sort of marketing trend things, there's very rarely brand new from outer space. You know, mm -hmm. um, recently we've had uh, AI via ChatGPT, um, you know, the various other tools that have come in. Everyone's gone crazy. We've all been testing it here at Quali. We, we've used them a lot. We've embraced them. Our new overlords, um, the robotic yeah, masters. Right. If you look at what happened with video game content and video games are now overtaking movies in revenue, now you've got video game conversion to movies. There's a few pots in there, and then I'll, I'll chuck in there'll be something brand new and amazing that I don't understand that'll just come in and surprise That's, us all. Yeah, and then you have something to learn. And yeah, yeah, and then I can look back at this in 10 years and say, well, I kind of predicted that in my yeah. non-commissal answer. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you have it, whatever it turns out to be. Excellent. Um, what would you say are some of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to mobile publishing? Oh, That's quite tricky. Wow. Um, I think the biggest misconception is when people oh, just just make the game good. Like, well, well, how do you just make the game good? Right? It, nobody sets out to make a bad game. Nobody sets out to do something unsuccessful. Um, and it's not that easy to just make a good game, right? I mean, years of development work goes into them. Very clever people design how they're going to work, what the systems are going to be. From that point of view, it, it, I think it's just the level of work that goes into making a game. Oh, it's my question, isn't it? So, I think so, yeah, yeah. Um, what marketing campaign or strategy has inspired you the most? Oh gosh. Um, often there's often some of the PR-driven ones, which isn't necessarily on point because I, I sort of do a lot of integrated campaign work, we do a lot of digital media here. Um, there's some of the ones which are sort of inst instigating lifestyle changes or societal perception changes, mm. um, and often they can be incredibly impactful. Uh, with relatively meagre budgets. Notably, it's the ones where the idea is so good and so rich and so strong that the idea goes viral and actually it's something that instigates very positive and meaningful change. Mm. Thanks very much for, for listening to Will and I do our Q&A. Some excellent mm. questions in there, whoever crafted them. Um, I'll it's find been out. quite fun, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been really, really good. I've really enjoyed it. And nothing overtly challenging and lots of trips no. down memory lane, which is interesting too. Yeah, so that was nice. From me, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, and thank you very much from me. Look forward to more episodes. I guess we can Kuali. just now say lots of different say names. Someone will pick one and then cut the things that we don't. On the sofa um, with Will and Harry. That's a good one. Yeah, between one fern yeah. and a, whatever this is, a yucca. Zach, Zach, Zach Galifianakis says that's between two ferns thing, doesn't he? Oh, See, that's very no, funny. I don't think I have Between a know. yucca and a fern, it will be our okay. less horrible I like version. that, we should do it, right. let's do it Between more. a yucca and a fern, good night. <laughs> <laughs>